Project Elixir version 2.0 is now officially available for some of the devices and if your device supports the official version, go and install this version right now. This version includes something new, some new changes and a lot more things are available in this version. I'm going to talk about all these things as quickly as possible. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The first of all, if you're able to notice is in the about phone UI. We have a lot of things available, for example, in About Phone UI. The UI is bit changed. In About Phone, you can see device name and version. The layout is basically changed in this new update with this new update. And same with that About Phone UI, the whole settings UI is actually changed. By the way, this looks quite good. It's all about user's opinion or preference. But in my opinion, this looks quite good if you compare it with the previous versions here. If you talk about in this version, some changes, some features, which I will talk about for sure. But this is the default UI, as you just saw, the battery, etc. Essence has all these customizations, which is selling you try for amelioration, amelioration. Yes, this looks quite good. If you take a look at the quick settings panel, first of all, the quick settings panel has a fluid OS kind of UI. I made a video on fluid OS also. You can also customize that by the way, but it's up to you. If you don't want to customize, it's up to you. This is not the by default. You have the option to switch to fluid UI QS style. You can even do some more customizations if you want to. If you take a look at the power menu, that is also changed now in this version. This is also actually cherry picked from fluid OS. A lot of things have been included and a lot of custom rooms are applying these kind of things in their custom rooms. This is the default one. If you don't like the fluid OS quick setting styles, you can use the default one also. This is the default one by, by default actually available. If you want to switch to fluid OS quick setting style, you can do that. The switch, the option is available there. Including fluid OS or the default ones, we also have QS customizations related to tiles. If you want to use the classic style, which will hide the labels and give you this kind of UI, this option is also there. It was not present previously, by the way, but yes, in this version, we have many changes available. In my opinion, this looks also good, by the way. By the way, Project Elixir already has many pixel features and it also includes quite good customizations. And maybe in upcoming time, Project Elixir might be one of the good custom rooms out there. Right now, it is, but let's say in the future. It also includes the custom colors in modern theming. So if you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming, you can use this thing. We also have some fonts customizations, icon pack customizations, the customizations related to theming, etc. So talking about all these customizations, etc., which are available in theming section, you also have some lock screen clock customizations too. If you want oxygen OS style clock style in your lock screen, you can enable that option that is present there. Some status bar customization includes Volti, Vo Wi-Fi icons as expected. You can't customize those, but yes, the option is here. So yes, it is still better than in some custom homes, which even does not include the Volti icon. It's there. You can also enable the Vo Wi-Fi icon too. Some brightness slider related customizations are there too, which is of course as expectedly there. As you just saw in the quick settings panel, the brightness slider is there, but the brightness slider could be more customizable than that one. But yes, yeah, it's, it's it's just not a big deal. It's about customization. It's not a feature based thing. So yes, it's all about user's preference, user's opinion. Moving on to some other things which are included in this version, we have some lock screen customizations too. Last but not the least, advanced restart, some in-call vibration options, notifications, game space is also there. So this was about the project Elixir version 2.0, which includes all these features and customizations. This is a default UI. It will give you pixel props so that you'll able to get the Google Pixel Photos unlimited backup too. There might be some device specific changes there too. So make sure you make sure to check out your device specific change log so that if something is different from this one, you can check out that. This is all about today's short and simple video regarding project Elixir. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. As I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel for sure. Goodbye.